What's going on guys? Welcome to another video brought to you by The Simple Engineer. Today we are going to delve into the topic of counting and combinatorics in discrete mathematics for people in computer science. This will cover um, counting and combinatorics for any topic, but uh, it is specifically designed for discrete mathematics. So we'll go through a few examples and uh, we'll explain how these examples are done and hopefully you have a better understanding of some of the rules used in combinatorics. So first off, our first example deals with different um, ways to achieve a certain outcome. So the example goes by, there's a guy on the beach and he's selling ice cream from the boardwalk. He has three flavors. He has vanilla, he has chocolate and strawberry, blueberry, and pistachio. Okay, now these different flavors can either be served in a waffle cone, we have a sugar cone, and we have just a regular cone. So the question asks, how many different single scoop ice cream cones can you buy from this guy? Well, you can look at this and say, oh, I can have vanilla with waffle, vanilla with sugar, vanilla with plain, chocolate, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But there's a basic idea that goes along with these types of problems, and it's known as the product, the product rule. And what the product rule says, if there are in one ways to do the first task and in two ways to do the second task, then there are in one times in two ways to do the entire procedure. So our procedure in this case is how many different single scoop ice cream cone combinations can we have from this guy? So this would be our in one task and this would be our in two tasks. So there's in one flavors with in two waffle cones. So here we have three types of cones, three types of cones and here we have how many flavors? We have three, four, five types of flavors. Therefore, by the product rule, five times three, we would have 15 different choices. So that's how we do that first type of problem. Now let's go ahead and move on to example two. This one is a little trickier, but still follows a similar idea. This is a license plate problem. So. Problem two says that we have a license plate and it can display two digits followed by three letters followed by another two digits. So here we'll label, we have a digit, a digit, we have a letter, 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 digit, and a digit. So how many different standard license plates are possible in this system? So we're going to assume that the repetition of letters and digits is allowed. So in digits, counting in base 10, you know that we have zero through nine, which is 10. So we have 10 choices here, 10 choices here, because repetition is allowed. Then for letters, you know that there's 26 letters in the standard English alphabet, and 10 and 10. So once again, by the product rule, since there are in one ways to do this and in two, two ways to do another task, digits and letters, we would just multiply them out. So Simplified, this is 10 to the fourth times 26 cubed. And what you end up coming out with as a final answer should be 17576000. And these are the possible combinations of having a license plate following this standard. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next example here. Okay, so here, example three. Okay, so we have four different dice. You know that each dice, each die, has six possible numbers on it. And the number of each die is recorded as you roll them. So they wanna know how many different outcomes are possible with these four different die. Well, you know that six here 
times six here times six here times six here would be six to the fourth, which equals 1,296 combinations. Assuming repetition is allowed. That's what combinations are. Okay, so not too bad, not too bad. We'll go ahead and move on to a couple more complex examples. Um, let's go ahead and look at how true and false are recorded. This kind of deals with how exponentials are treated in counting and combinatorics. So say that you have a true and false test that contains 12, 12 questions. On this test, it wants to know how many different ways can the 12 question test be answered. So if you kind of map it out, not even thinking in a sense of discrete mathematics, say you have option one, option two, three, four, etc., has true or false, two options, two options, two options, two options, and all the way to 12. So just looking at it from this standpoint, from like a diagram, you can see that two to the 12 is the answer because there's two possible answers for each question. There's 12 questions to the 12, and this would equal 4,096 possible choices. Okay, moving right along, we'll do a couple more examples and hopefully you guys start to understand the idea of counting in discrete. Go ahead and get a new slot here. Okay, so the next question I'll ask you guys refers to um, digit combinations. So say we have a three digit number, okay? But this digit is formed using only the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And they wanna know how many different three digit number combinations can be formed with repetition. So repetition is allowed. So if you go ahead and count the number of digits listed, you see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there are seven digits, but there's only three spaces. But in each space, you can have seven possible outcomes. You know that seven cubed is 343, and these are the number of possible outcomes. Okay. Finally, we will take a look at our last example, which deals with number or uh, sorry letters in the English alphabet and repetition and no repetition. So this will be our first example with no repetition allowed. So once again, we're creating a three letter word. And from this word, it can be made from six possible letters. So six letters, these letters are F, G, H, I, J, and K. Okay, but repetition in the first one, we're going to say is allowed. So repetition here is allowed. So if we go ahead and we say is allowed, there's six letters, three spaces, similar to the last problem, we would just say six here, six here, six here, and this would be six cubed, which equals 216. Easy, okay. However, if we want to, whoops, if we want to have no repetition allowed, it's going to be slightly different. And the reason being is because, okay, here, here, here. If we have six letters in the first one, then we've picked one of these letters. So now we're down to five possible choices. So the next one would have five possible choices. But then since we have two letters picked from this standard set, then there's only four possible choices left for the last space. So we would take six times five times four, and that equals 120 combinations with no repetition. All right, guys, I hope that helped you understand counting and combinatorics. 
and discrete math. In our next video, we'll be delving into a little more advanced topics. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will be sure to help you out.